guys, how are you? Welcome back to another mommy daughter conversation. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> and the reason for our conversation today is actually um, uh, as a result of a movie that we watched. But I first bumped into the movie on YouTube by myself. I've been going, hey, this one I need to watch with my teenager back home. Mm-hmm. So anyway, we watched it together. And the title of the movie is Smashed. Mombos, do you know what the meaning of the, <coughs> um, the word, word smashed, smashed is? Yes. Yeah. Me, the only meaning of smashed I know mm-hmm. is it's it's slang. It's slang for being drunk. Hmm. You're very right. That is the so. answer I wanted because that is the basis of our conversation today. Getting drunk. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Let's get it. There are actually three characters in this movie of ours. Can you remember the names? Uh, there was, there was, there was Manu, uh-huh. Makena, uh-huh. Dreadlocks guy. Kev. Kev. <laughs> and Kev. Kev. There are three characters in this uh, movie of ours, and they are all Teenagers. teenagers, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So when I came across that movie, I figured, eh, hey, you watch it, watch it, watch So to I watch. What did you? What were your first thoughts about the movie <clears throat> after watching it? We okay. So first, first few seconds of the show mm-hmm. had a lot of suspense. Mm-hmm. But like, yani, you, 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 in getting the video like this, you're seeing a dead person on the floor. <laughs> yeah, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're hooked from the beginning. I, Kabisa. Yeah. Hey. So that was your first yes. uh, thoughts of the movie. Yeah. That's the, that's good. Yeah. It's yani inanza inanza to you you like ooh this uh, this one I want to watch. Mm-hmm. It's actually a short film. And um our three characters in the movie have um they are all teenagers. Yeah. They are all in school, high school to be precise. Apart from Kev. Yes. Kev is a dropout. Drop off. Drop out. Hey. Kev is a drop off. Drop. Drop out. Out. Aya, kizungu. Drop off. My kizungu. Kizungu ni kata mkamba. Yeah, Kev is a drop out. Mhm. Kani na is a drop off. Kev is a drop out. So the characters in this movie of ours, Manu Kev and uh, Makena. Mm. Uh there's a story the story there's a storyline and the storyline watch out what here uh, in itangwa spoiler this is a spoiler but uh, after by the end of the video we will leave a link to the movie so that you can go and watch yeah. uh, so the story of uh, this movie of ours is about underage drinking mm. right mm. that's the synopsis of the movie right what? and our characters yeah. the three characters Manu, Makena, and Kevin. There's something they are all teaching us in mm. this movie. Cindy. So why do you think um, the three characters are drinking in that movie? <clears throat> okay. Well, it depends because it's different for for the three of them. Mm-hmm. For Manu, <laughs> he was started drinking because of peer pressure, especially from Kev. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Makena. Ah, she's just down. She's just down to drink. <laughs> and then Kev, he, it's it's his usual. Says, I don't know what got him to drink. It wasn't mentioned. Mm-hmm. But it seems like it's something he just started doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause... I would say for me, I would say uh, for Manu, <clears throat> it's true. It's peer pressure. Peer, peer pressure. Yeah. And it's the end thing. It's, it's what his friends are doing. So, peer yaya na, and ingia tu apo ana. Fanya kama wenzake. Mm. For Makena, uh, yeah, I think it's because it's something cool to do. Yeah, right? Yeah. You know, there's peer pressure and then there's doing something because you think it's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for Makena, I feel like it's because it's, it's a cool thing to do. Yeah. So that's why she's probably doing it. And then for Kevin, I would say, I think him not having a purpose Whoa. per se ah. for his life because he's, he's a drop off like drop he's, out drop yeah. out oh my god <laughs> he's a drop out mm. so he's not in school yeah right yeah and that makes uh him like become an idol person yeah 
Cause tunaona tu ya yuko tu hakuna kitu anafanya. Mm. Manu is in school tunamwona akifanya homework. Makena is in school and she's very uh, active. active in sports. Yeah. So we see her. But for Manu ju hayuko sh- uh, for Kev ju hayuko shule. Yeah, yuko tu. Mm. So sometimes when you're very idle and you have nothing to do, that's how you get tempted and things. you fall yeah. into such things. Yeah. Sindio. So mkamba mama what would you say are some of the risks? of underage drinking that you might have picked from the movie. This one I'm getting it from my science textbook. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um effects of uh drinking. Mm-hmm. We have impaired judgment, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. We have poor decision making, making skills nini nini. Yes. As another spoiler, at the end of the mm-hmm. the, the the short film, ma'am. Um, yes, the, the short, short film. film. <laughs> <laughs> um Kev Kev he was he was very drunk he was very drunk mm-hmm. uh, so he got mad it's going to sound weird without the context mm-hmm. so he got mad and jealous of Makena and Manu mm-hmm. so with his rage and anger and his keep bad bad akili cuz he was drunk mm-hmm. he took a bottle and threw it at Makena yeah. That is poor decision making and impaired judgment That's if true. I'm not wrong <laughs> very correct yes. get a high five for okay. that one <laughs> and of course at the end of the day negative impact on your health physical and mental yeah health. Yeah. yeah physically it's and terrible, mentally bra. it's terrible it's terrible <laughs> so why do you think uh, why do you think why do you think yes. oh my god <laughs> <I'm> going on <laughs> i don't know so why do you think you should wait until you're 18 to indulge that is if you that is something you'd like to do Later. I don't feel like 18 is a suitable age. Really? Me I'm thinking like well over 21. Cuz oh. eh cuz sasa now this there's some 18 year olds that act like like they are they are still very young. Yeah, like, they're still very young now cool. <laughs> like s- skills like decision making but was janini. Mm. I don't feel like it's a, it's a good age to start drinking to be honest. But anyway, cuz now in Kenya that's you know that's, that's the legal, legal age, age yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, so why do you think they put it as the legal age for drinking? I like guess. why do you think if you're under 18 you are not in capital? supposed to drink. Yes, supposed I to guess be. it's cuz once you hit 18 you're basically considered an adult. You can do anything. Me that's my mentality. And also I feel like it's cuz they assume 18 like 18 years of age comes with some sort of Q grown upness <laughs> eh <laughs> yo <laughs> maturity <laughs> you grown up ah. yeah so if, if like they, as, they assume yeah. you're capable of making right decisions and what not actually you're right it's true it's not just about an, a number thing mm. that you're now 18 so you, you, you can, can indulge if you mm. want yeah but it's also it's also the fact that by the time you're turning 18 we assume or rather we we think you're mature enough yeah. both uh, mentally and uh, emotionally mm-hmm. and physically as well mm-hmm. to handle the risks that oh, come yes. with uh, drinking yes, alcohol yeah. sindio yeah and i have a swally mm-hmm. if if i was if i was to start mm-hmm. drinking mm-hmm. when you are uh, the right of age. the right age mm-hmm. of the right age mm-hmm. Uh what would you like what would be your greatest fear about me drinking? Okay. So that is a hypothetical question. Hypothetically right? speaking. Hypothetically speaking, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> I think my greatest fear would be your safety and well-being. Yeah. Because remember in the beginning like we just uh, the uh, the question about the risks mm. of um, underage drinking is uh, the biggest of them all is impaired what judgment judgment yeah. you tend to not to make the right decisions mm. so i think for me that would be that is would be my greatest fear like so me making the wrong decision yes and that uh, in turn making is in like affecting your safety it's taki kulala hivi nikijuliza guy nashtuka na mkavui yako wapi hui yako sawa hui yeah so of course but my greatest fear is your safety and well-being because i want you to be able to make the right good decision. decisions uh-huh. to ensure that life yako iko sawa in the future yeah. isn't it yes mm. ah Very good answer. Very good. Answer. Very good. 
very good answer me yeah. i have another question mm. and my question is how do you feel about having this conversation with me like conversation around alcohol and what not how is it making you feel i know on this okay. we have all sorts of conversations yeah yeah but how is this one specifically this one making you feel Okay, first of all, mm-hmm. I am very happy that we are taking a break from sex and periods and contraception. Oh, I'm very Give happy. High five to yes. your mother. Yes. Those are still good topics, Gaba. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I'm just good we are stepping away from that. Mm-hmm. Uh, secondly, it was very random. Like you remember my reaction Mm-hmm. when you told me you are going to talk about alcohol yes like, but no, was, see, but i told you it's after i bumped into that movie on youtube and i thought hmm and especially now mm-hmm. that we are getting into the festive season yeah. i felt like this would be a very good like Time. an ideal conversation and also if i am being very honest there's something i read somewhere mm-hmm. online mm-hmm. saying that most teenagers who are drinking alcohol right now because it has it is it's a problem apparently becoming a problem mm. yes in our country so that's that's the reason why i felt like maybe let me let me just have a conversation with you and see like how much know. you know about mm. alcohol and if if, if this is if you are being very honest if this is something you've experienced among your fear the your peers drinking alcohol among my peers mm. that one has never been had of ever actually yeah very my i don't even feel like we've ever talked about anything around that mm-hmm. topic unless we're talking about science then yes Oh, yes, we have come across thing. it. That's mm. a good thing. So it means the parents they do our work. Yeah, job. Uh, we are doing a good job. Give me a high five. You're doing a good job. <laughs> so my next question would be mm. if someone in your circles, I know you've said, yeah, yeah, yeah among your peers, yeah. this is not something that you've experienced so far. So for example, let's say, I, I know you've said um, among your peers, this is not something that you've experienced. Yeah. But for example, you to tell some for example, hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically speaking. Eh. Just say me kuna rafiki yako mmoja kona shida na alcohol. Would you know how to help? Not at all. Would you know what to do? No. <laughs> no. It's not like cuz I mean See, so lean tight jibu aje. What am I supposed to do? But pio ni jibu. Pio yeah. kusema no, that's still an answer cuz yeah. muuliza kama unajua. Yeah, so um of course I know ni vile hutajibu hivyo but I know mm, for sure mm. you would probably come and tell me. Oh, yeah. About it. Yes, right? Yeah. And you see that is actually one way of trying to help, help that particular mm. friend because sometimes the people closest to you don't have wambie kwanza unajua so maybe you're not able to go and um, have the conversation with your peer because peer wewe huji unafa kumwambia nini mm. but you see it's, it's possible it's easy for you to come and tell me hey mom kuna wewe rafiki yangu nini na nini and you see from there i would probably know what to do yeah or probably reach out to their parent ama Uh, talk to the school you know mm. like mm. i would i would know what to do so that is one way of doing it okay yeah yeah like if you have a friend who's going through um such a problem uh, talk to me your family mm. <laughs> right yeah another thing would sometimes even your peers i talk to my peers mm. about this person yeah let, let me explain mm. you know sometimes how like within your group i'm trying to look for the right words Do you know sometimes not even not even, it's not motion by the way mm. sometimes see have have you not ever um had a problem but then when you discussed it with your peers you found a solution even before like escalating oh, it to yeah, your parents yeah, yeah. and to yeah. you know like the senior the people board, yeah, yeah. senior mm. so that is what i mean mm. yeah okay Najua? yeah mm. Like sometimes when you discuss to you hapo umpate maybe kuna mtu hapo wako na a solution. Mm. The next thing would be of course your family. Yeah. And then, other than now the family if it's a very uh, uh, bad case like it's ni mtu amezama sana then that's when now we escalate it to professionals and what not. Yeah. Because there are people who are qualified now to handle such cases. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. 
end in this case because <laughs> you remember after watching the movie <coughs> i told you they actually there's actually a website for smashed oh yes yes yes, yes. Yeah. we went through the website because on, on the website now this is where you can direct them mm. <laughs> on the website there are tools for both students and uh, teachers, teachers. There are resources there to help you navigate this conversation. Mm. Sindio, either yeah. it's, if it's with your peers, I'm it's from a teacher who's trying now to teach you guys, mm. who are of course in school, about the dangers of underage drinking. Because yeah. it's, it's becoming a pandemic in yeah. this country of ours, which is Very a bit sad. Sindio. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Which is a bit sad. Me, it's easy to imagine that you mumbu say it. Can't just come and na na we do a pombe. Yeah, yeah, because it's illegal. It is mm. illegal in our country for anyone below the age of eighteen to consume alcohol. alcohol. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like this conversation. Yeah. I actually didn't know it was going to even me. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually going to be this interesting. Yeah, because yeah, it was very random, Najwa. I did just it was very random. Yeah. But I saw that movie, I was like, you know what? Hey, you this one. Let's have this conversation. This conversation. And especially now that you are getting into the festive season. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of sherehe. Yeah. So is is um teenagers we take responsibility for the decisions that we make yeah. about our lives. Yeah. Na kama wazazi pia tunachunga zile vitu tunafanya mbele ya watoto wetu because yeah. they see these things. Yeah. Sindi? They copy paste. Right? <laughs> That's true by the mm-hmm. you copy paste. We normally say here that kids learn through observation. Yeah, exactly. Not by being told. Mm, hawaskizangi eti usifanye usifanya. How was Kizangi? Mm. Yeah. And you see, Mumbus at the end of the day, this conversation, because we we normalize conversations here. Yes. Uh, on mommy daughter, we normalize these kind, mm. kinds of conversations. The whole reason for this, it's not me coming to you and telling you, don't do this, don't do this, mm. you should not do this. You know, it's me now providing the information. Yeah. And giving you a safe space to ask me any questions. Yeah. And also now giving like offering a bit of guidance Sindhya. to me and them. To, yes, yes, to you <laughs> and them. Mm-hmm. Sindhya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do you have any questions for me regarding the show, regarding the topic? Anything you'd like to know? <laughs> I was only by the way. Mm-hmm. You like when you were a teenager. Mm-hmm. Let's say when you were my age. Yeah. Like is stuff your peer pressure mm. and especially peer pressure. Peer pressure. pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you? <laughs> uh-huh. Peer pressure. Yeah. Um, regarding to consumption of alcohol. Yeah. Was that ever something you went through? Uh, at your age, peer pressure was there definitely, yeah. and yeah. I must say that there are some things I did out of be- being out of. Being, being peer, peer pressured, pressured. <laughs> for sure for sure but mm. alcohol not really though i did so proud of you i know <laughs> though i did I, i i grew up in a family that mm, had a few alcoholics in there my god yeah but but not not uh, shusho of course i not hey shusha <laughs> jikute yeah not shush and not uh, babu you. Babu. Yes. No no like my dad. You you didn't you never met my dad. You never met my dad who would be your grandfather. Oh, I'm yes, saying yes. not the one. Oh, I thought the... you were saying you had another dad. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, that but from the extended uh, family. family. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. But at your age, no. Hey, my mom did a good job raising us. Yeah, but yeah. the effects of peer pressure were there. And of course here in the upper Nepali, uliza shush siku moja takwambia so I don't do this when I just patoli fanya hivyo yeah but the reason for this conversation is just to you know as i said offer guidance yeah. and information yeah. so that when you're older you're able to make the good right choices the right choices yeah. i feel like that should be the end of our conversation it, it was be. very good that's it but guys it's our no before we wrap <laughs> before we wrap mm-hmm. uh, i'm going to leave a link up in the description yeah 
the YouTube video so that you can go and watch. And please make sure after watching, and this is for the entire family, by the way, if you have um, teenagers, please make sure you watch this movie with them. And then you <laughs> have the conversation in your family, then I would love for you to come back. <laughs> come back after watching. <laughs> Apple <laughs> <laughs> comment section, no to ambio what you thought of the movie. And then after watching the movie, I want to direct you to the smashed Web website. Page. Yes. Web website. Website. <laughs> <laughs> to the smashed website. They are actually very interesting. Um what would I call them? I don't want to call them games because it, it's not exactly games, but there are some It's a tool. Yeah, they are very, thank you, they are very interesting tools and resources there for both students. If you're a student, you can log in, sign up as a student, yeah. and then get to interact with Manu, Kevin, and McKenna. If you're a teacher, you can log in and do the same. And, you know, by the time Tunafika 2024, we are better equipped. Yes. Isn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, well, guys. That's it, folks. That was interesting. <laughs> Until yeah. next time. I hope Mesoma, by the way, mm. conversation is equal. Yeah. Yes. As you get into Christmas, please, for both parents and our teenagers, please Enjoy. make good yeah, decisions. Cindy, did you show? Hey. It is, what's a trend? <laughs> bye. <laughs> Until My next friend. Time, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, 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 bye. Come on. I'm sorry, okay? Manu Amka. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Dad, no drinking. Are we gonna turn on each other? Are we gonna become hunters and gatherers? I twig, lie, twig, lie, twig. Just one sec. With me. My father was right, you're such a loser.